All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And so Andrew Chafin blows it for the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks were one strike away, one strike away from a one nothing victory over the New York Mets. And Andrew Chafin uh, blows it. Um, Tommy Henry went six innings of shutout baseball. Uh, the Diamondbacks hit a home run in the seventh. Christian Walker, his 18th. And then the Mets scored two, a solo home run, uh, and then a single with uh, two on. And that scored a run. <clears throat> and then it made it two to one Mets. And that was all she wrote. So a blown save in the ninth by Andrew Chafin. And the Diamondbacks lose two to one. They are now 13 games above 500 at 50 and 37. The Mets improved to 40 and 46. They are six games below 500. And like the announcer said, they, the Diamondbacks can't keep continuing to allow their bullpen to do this. If they continue, they're not only going to lose the division, they're probably not going to make the playoffs because there's other teams that are in, ahead of them in the wild card. So. Uh, if they lose the division, he said they would fall below the wild card teams if they if they continue on this path. So they got to make a trade. They got to do something. They got to get bullpen pitching because we can't keep allowing this to happen. Uh, we just can't. Tommy Henry gets a no decision now uh, after pitching superb. Uh, like I said, six innings of shutout baseball, and the, the for some reason the bullpen either doesn't want to hold it or they just don't care uh, because it, there's this is 15 blown saves. You don't get 15 blown saves if if you're if you're a good good team. If you're a good team and you care about winning, you don't get 15 blown saves. Uh, so. Um, the winning pitcher, uh, Kodai Singa, uh, Kodai Singa, um, he is now 7-5 with a 3.31 ERA, um, and Tommy, or uh, Schaefen, uh, went two-thirds of an inning, he takes the loss, uh, he allowed two earned runs, no, no strikeouts, one walk. Uh, Robertson gets the save. He went one inning, no earned runs, uh, a strikeout, no walks. And two to one, the Mets win. So Tommy Henry doesn't get, uh, he gets a no decision. And I feel bad for Tommy Henry because every time he thinks he has a win, the, the bullpen comes in and blows it. They've, they've done it. To uh, Ryan Nelson too. They've done it to Zach Gallen. Uh, they've done it to Merrill Kelly. Uh, this bullpen, like I, like the announcer said too. If you're a really good team, your bullpen doesn't give you 15 blown saves. Uh, there's, there's, and they're not having a good July either. So, uh, but. Uh, Mike Hazen said they're probably not going to do nothing until the deadline if they even do anything at, at the deadline because he said he doesn't want to ruin the chemistry uh, with the team. So they're probably going to continue this trend, uh, most likely. Uh, let's see. Perdomo had four at-bats. He had no runs, one hit, no RBIs, no walks, one strikeout, has a .278 average and a .804 OPS. Evan Longoria... Had three at-bats. He had no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no walks, two strikeouts. Has a .244 average and a .852 OPS. Uh, Fletcher, who came in as a pinch hitter, had one at-bat, no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no walks, no strikeouts. Has a .300 average and a .795 OPS. So the rest of them fell below 300 again. Again! Uh... Christian Walker, had, or Corbin Carroll, I'm sorry, had four at-bats, no runs, one hit, 
Uh, no RBIs, no walks, two strikeouts, has a .292 average and a .930 OPS. Uh, Christian Walker had three at-bats. He had one run, one hit, one RBI, one walk, one strikeout. And he had a solo home run that was our only run in this game. Uh, he has a .270 average and a .858 OPS. Lord Escurial Jr. had three at-bats. He had no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no walks, two strikeouts. Has a .266 average and a .806 OPS. Jake McCarthy had three at-bats. He had no runs, one hit, no RBIs, no walks, two strikeouts. Has a .254 average and a .688 OPS. Carson Kelly had three at-bats. He had no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no walks, two strikeouts. Has a .175 average and a .484 OPS. Nick Ahmed had two at-bats. He had no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no walks, one strikeout. Has a .219 average and a .585 OPS. Cattell Marte, who came in as a pinch hitter, uh, had one at-bat, no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no walks, no strikeouts. Has a .284 average and a .864 OPS. And Alec Thomas had three at-bats. He has no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no walks, no strikeouts. Has a .224 average and a .627 OPS. So even the announcer said they, they, they can't continue to struggle like this. Um, he don't, nobody knows where the Diamondbacks of earlier in the season went, but the Dodgers are just about to take the division back from them. And the announcer said once, once the, and once the Dodgers take it, they're they're probably not going to lose it again, because that's just the Dodgers. They don't. Once they they take a late lead, they don't lose it. They they will win this division if they take it, and it'll knock the Diamondbacks out of the playoffs. Tommy Henry went six innings, two hits, no runs, no earned runs, four walks, two strikeouts. No home runs and has a 3.75 ERA. Kyle Nelson came in, went two-thirds of an inning. Uh, one hit, no runs, no earned runs, no walks, two strikeouts, no home runs. Has a 2.76 ERA. Scott McGuff came in, went one and a third. No, run, no hits, no runs, no earned runs, one walk, two strikeouts, no home runs. Has a 2.84 ERA. Chafin, who takes the loss and a Gets a blown save, his third blown save. Uh, went two thirds of an inning, has three hits, two run, allowed two runs, two earned runs, one walk, no strikeouts, one home run, and has a 3.38 OPS or ERA. And then Kevin Ginkle came in and went one third of an inning, allowed no hits, no runs, no earned runs, no walks, no strikeouts, no home runs, and has a 2.56 ERA. So uh, and then Pittsburgh's coming in. <laughs> Pittsburgh's coming in on uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and they're gonna be pissed off because we beat them in their house. So, uh, like the announcer said, teams are now starting to figure out the Diamondbacks, and it's it's probably gonna cost them. Uh, they need to play like they were playing. Uh, earlier in the season because the Diamondbacks are only a game and a or the Dodgers are only a game and a half back uh, so uh, they have to win tomorrow uh, and they got to keep winning because the Dodgers are going to take this division uh, so uh, it's but they got to they got to get back on the winning track they got to win tomorrow they got to beat Pittsburgh uh, and then they got to and then they get the all-star break to regroup, get healthy, and then uh, come back and do their stretch run for the playoffs and the, and the division. So uh, they got to keep winning. They got the Dodgers twice uh, next month. So um, they got a really tough stretch coming up. So uh, they, they, they got to just, they got to get back on the winning track. Win tomorrow, beat Pittsburgh. And uh, go into the All-Star break on a roll. Guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. This is Sports Dom. Peace. Go Diamondbacks. 
Let's beat the Mets tomorrow. Salvage this series. Um, they're the only team that hasn't been shut out yet this year. And they're the only team that hasn't gotten swept yet this year. So, uh, the Diamondbacks are. The only team that hasn't been shut out this year. And we're the only team that hasn't been swept this year. So, that's good. Uh, so, hopefully tomorrow with Ryan Nelson on the mound. Uh, hopefully they'll get him some runs. Uh, since they didn't do it for Tommy Henry. Um, and hopefully uh, they care enough to get Ryan Nelson a win. Go Diamondbacks. Beat the Mets. Salvage this series. Let's get back in the win column. And go back up to 14 games above 500. And uh, go Diamondbacks.